Welcome back to the homestead. Today, finally, we are taking this old barn down that you see behind us. Yeah, we're gonna use our 935 cat loader behind us and uh, some rigging with some chains and things. And hopefully it's not as uh, strong as we think it is, but. I think she's ready to come <laughs> down. So we'll go ahead, I'll show you kind of just a, an overall of the barn. So then you can see actually how this barn was built. It was actually used for the wooden pegs is how they built it instead of using like the nails and the screws. So you can see that this barn is really old. How old do you think it was? I think it's built 1870s. 1870s. Yeah. And it's it's been kind of neglected. Um, so we're going to take it down. It's been on our to-do list for three years now. When we moved here, it was on our list to get it taken down. And today's the day. Yeah. So uh, we'll take you along this journey. And... Uh... We'll see how strong this old barn is. Um, as you can tell from up inside the barn here, you can tell that it was just an old tobacco barn. Uh, it's just getting in bad shape. The wood pegs are busted on a lot of supports. Um, you can see there's a lot of rotting and things. Uh, it's just kind of unsafe for anything. And we don't plan on doing any tobacco, so. We need something that's more usable. That's what we're going to put in the place of this. This barn is mainly built out of oak beams. I kind of want to show you how it was uh, how it was built. So they drill these holes and they put these wood pegs in there to connect the support structures on these. It's interesting to see how they built it back in the day without any nails. I mean, these these nails you see in here is just from people hanging things and stuff. But this uh, barn was all all out of wood pegs. They drill them all the way through the post and come out the other side here you can see right here. Now our original plan was to save this barn but when we got to looking at it if we can't really save it it's better just to take it down. It is a hazard at this point so we're going to go ahead and just take it down but we are going to be reusing the wood from it. We're planning on building a buck barn and a doe barn for our goats so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for that. We can show you how we reuse the wood and then also our plans for our, our little goat barns.
Thank you. 